Dear students, in this unit we will talk about phyla mollusca. Now, phyla mollusca it includes clams, oysters, snails, slugs, octopods, and the giant squid. Giant squid is a marine animal which is one of the largest uh, marine animals um, when we talk about the invertebrates. And its size can be as large as 16 meters. From 9 meter to 16 meters, it can be long, including its tentacles. Now, more than 50,000 species of phyla mollusca, they are present in this entire world. And there are th more than 35,000 species which are present as a fossils. It means that they used to live, they used to inhabit this earth in the ancient times and now they are no more and we only find their fossils in the present form. Now, when we talk about their body, they are soft-bodied animals and they are bilaterally symmetrical, which means that their body is symmetrical on both sides. Right and left, they are symmetrical to each other. And they are coelomate animals. And they usually have a shells around them, which is called mantle. And they have a ventral foot, which helps them in the locomotion. And they have anterior head, which have sensory organs as well. And then we have a dorsal visceral mass. Although most mollusks, they are marine, they live in the oceans, many of these slails and clams, they live in freshwater as well. And some of them, even they, the species of snails and slugs, they inhabit the moist part of the land as well. Now, some special characteristics are present in this phylum species, including a soft body. This is uh, usually covered by a dorsal shell, which is composed of calcium carbonate. And then we have a broad, flat, muscular foot, which, as I have told you, is used for the locomotion, for the transport of that organism from one place to the other place. And then we have a body organ which is also called as viscera. And it is concentrated as a big visceral mass and it is located above the foot region. Now, when we talk about the mantle, this is a thin sheet of tissues that covers the visceral mass and it usually contains glands that secretes a shell. As you can see, this is a shell which is present around this organism. Now, the fifth structure which is present, it is actually a rasp-like structure which is called as redula. It is actually a belt of the teeth inside the mouth region which helps it to capture its prey and engulf them. Now, when we talk about the body or the coelom, it is generally reduced to small compartments around certain organs and it includes mainly heart and the excretory organs. Now, when we talk about the major classes of mollusca, gastropoda is one of the largest one. It includes snails, as you can see, the snail body, and this is the foot of snail, and this is the mantle, which is composed of calcium carbonate. Now, the snails, slugs, and sea slugs, and the other relatives, they are the largest and most diverse group of phylum mollusca. Now, most of them, they inhabit the oceans, the marine environment, but other, uh, there are many species of it which lives in freshwater as well as on the land. Now, many gastropods, they have well-developed head and tentacles. You can see the tentacles on the body of this organisms. These two simple eyes, as you can see here, these two eyes are also located on the stalk of these tentacles and these help them in the sensing of food or different structures. Now, the gastropod uh, use these eyes, its broad and flat foot for movement 
their movement is very sluggish and very slow. Now, uh, when we talk about the other class, by valva, it includes clams, oysters, mussels, and its relatives. Their soft body is laterally compressed. As you can see, that it is laterally compressed body. This one is an opened shell, and it is compressed and enclosed by two shells. This one is the upper shell, you can see, and this one is the lower shell. They open uh, ventrally to allow the foot to protrude outside. They have this foot which can come out of it and help it to move from one place to the other place. And it is used for the locomotion as well as burrowing of this animal in the mud. Now, uh, some bivalves such as oysters, they attach permanently to a substrate and they stay there for their whole life. As you are aware that pearl is produced by the oysters inside their body. Now, uh, some of the organisms, they burrow slowly through rock or wood and they seek protected dwellings. So, they try their best to stay away from their predators.